Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back to the Oko Sharma channel. Quick Inter versus Venezia match preview, five o'clock UK time kickoff. I didn't do a match preview because I didn't want what happened against Bologna to happen again. The match was up in the air whether it was going ahead or not, but it looks like it's going ahead. Um, Venezia haven't got the nine positive um, PCR tests that they need to for the match to be rescheduled. Looks like it's going ahead. So it's gonna be a reshuffled Venezia team. They've got a lot of COVID cases. But for Inter, it looks like it's going to be a full strength lineup. Yes, we're not in great form. We're winning, we're winning matches, but we're just kind of not in that form that we were in November, December time. Uh, up front is going to be Lautaro and Jekyll with the predicted lineups. We need one of them at least to step up. Jekyll hasn't scored for about five or six matches now since the Roma match in December. He hasn't scored. Lautaro scored against Juventus in the Super Cup, but it was a penalty, and he hasn't scored since the Salernitana match. So we need at least one of these two to kind of step up and carry the team in this moment of mixed form that we're having. Uh, the midfield, the starting midfield returns, Brozovic, Hakan and Barella. So we should be winning the midfield battle for sure. Uh, Perisic and Dumfries return on the wigs and I'm actually expecting a goal from either one of those two. The back line is the usual screen in the right and Bastoni plus Andanovic. With, uh, with Venezia, they're one of the teams that you know surprised me this season. They've got a very clear style of play. They will let the opposition have the ball, but when they do have the ball, they also have some nice uh, uh, possession and nice style of play. Um, the main man to watch out for them is Okareke on the counter-attack as they will sit back and try to counter Inter. Inter will have majority of the possession. But yes, we're not in great form, but I'm expecting a win. Uh, as I said, I'm expecting one of the wing backs to score and I'm expecting one of Lautaro or Dzeko to score at least. Um, just like the uh, first match against them, which was at their home, they didn't make it easy for us. If you remember, it was a Hakan goal from range and a last minute penalty which Lautaro took away. Uh, so I'm expecting a similar scoreline, 2-0 uh, for Inter, hopefully another clean sheet. And they're going into this uh, upcoming South American international break. Um, and yeah, Correa's injury luckily is not too serious and apparently is around 20 days so he should be back after the international break, after the Milan derby probably, so we'll see about that. But yeah, it's important that Inter go into this break with a win and stay top of the league. And yeah, of course, watch me in the post-match for the reaction which hopefully will be positive. Ciao ragazzi, forza Inter!